The title of our message is Why then is there no healing for the wound of my people? Why then is there no healing for the wound of my people? In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 22, is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Is there no balm in Johannesburg? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no healing for the wound of my people? This morning I want to answer you that water is the balm in the body and Jesus Christ is the great physician in your life. We want healing of the land as much as healing of the water. Healing our land starts with God healing our heart. If you defile the land, don't expect much from the land. It will vomit you out as it vomited the nation that were before you. Because of their practice, ancestral worship, idol worship, defiling the land through many ways. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 1. Read with me if you can. If a man divorces his wife and she leave him and marry another man, should he return to her again? Will not the land be completely defiled? But you have lived as a prostitute with many lovers. Would you now return to me, declare the Lord? If you say, I divorce you, I divorce you. You went in the court, uh, they give you a certificate of divorce. Then after two days, you say, no, it was a mistake. Let's get back together. Well, the land will be defiled. Whatever you do in that land will not respond to you again. It becomes a challenge. Where you are running your business, if you are kissing a stranger, you are defiling the land. There is nothing you will do there that will work for you. The land becomes sick. The land will vomit you. That is why there is always a way out to those challenges. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Every one of us knows this scripture. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins. I will heal their land. Forgiveness of sin go hand in hand with healing of the land, with healing of the body. Now, what will you say when the Bible began to speak about the water in your land can bring a case? Let us start with the negative side one. Numbers chapter 5, verse 22. Numbers Chapter 5, verse 22. He talk about the water that bring a case. Enter your body so that your abdomen swell and your womb miscarry. Then the woman is to say, Amen, so be it. Okay, I will not go deep into this one, but you just need to know that when water bring a case, it enter your body, your belly will swell. Then, praise God for the coming of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Jesus Christ of Nazareth was unwanted with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good. Now today is here Amen. to do good in the life of somebody. 
healing those who are oppressed by the devil. Hallelujah. I pray that every bitter water that brings a case in your life will harm you no more. Amen. Today we will witness them coming out of your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Water in your land can be bitter. According to Exodus chapter 15, verse 23, when they came to Mara, they could not drink its water because it was bitter. Water is there, but water is bad. Water is bitter. What happened? Verse 25. Read with me if you can. Then Moses cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a piece of wood. He threw it into the water, and the water became fit. To drink. There, the Lord issued a ruling and instruction for them and put them to the test. My, the beauty of this word is that Moses cried out to the Lord. The Lord showed him what to do. The Lord showed him what to do. Bitter water became fit to drink. I'm still praying up until now. Today the Lord will turn your bitter love to sweet life. Amen. The Lord will show you how to turn your test to testimony. Amen. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 19 water in the land can be bad. As a result of the case, one person can, can, can case. You say, ah, you have no power to case me. Ah, watch out. The people of the city say to Elisha, look, our Lord, this town is in a good position, as you can see. My business is in a very good spot, but no customer is coming here. My town is in a very good position, but the water in my town is bad. And the land is unproductive. If the water is bad, things will be shapeless. There will be a problem in that place, right there. Nobody so Elijah is a man that could solve the problem of Jericho. They despise him. They despise the anointing that was upon his life. They acknowledge the anointing that came upon Elisha as a result of collecting the garment. He struck the river Jordan. It's open. He said, hey, the spirit of Elijah is resting on Elisha. They did not go to Elisha as a friend. They went to him as Lord. They said to him, Lord, we have a problem with our land. The water is bad, and the land is barren. It will always take an anointed man of God to put a stop to the case that is in your land, even in the water. Hallelujah. Water in the world I believe it's 60%. You can say 70%, that's up to you. It's always worked that way. There is also water in your body. Did you ever ask? <laughs> in Africa, when things are not happening, if things are not good, they will say to you, bad water. Uh, many people don't know that your brain is 75% of water. Your brain has water. Your blood has water. 83% of water is in your blood. Your heart has 79% of water. Ask Mr. Google, he will tell you everything. Your bones have 22% of water. 
your muscle, your muscle. I have 75% of water. Your liver have 85% of water. Your kidney have 83% of water. My question is, is it good water or bad water? I believe you've seen many people saying um, they have a kidney problem. Many people, they tell you the brain is a problem. Many people will tell you they have blood diseases. Many people will say to you, heart attack. Many people will say to you, my bones is a problem. Today, all this part of your body will receive complete healing. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Bad water will turn into good water. Bad water will turn into fit water. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everyone has his own view about water. Even me, many, many years ago, out of ignorance, I criticized any church that used water. I did not know the word of God. Until I discovered that the spirit of God is moving in the water, in the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. Read with me, Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, King James. King James. Read with me, if you can. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. The Spirit of God moved where? Shout it louder. The Spirit of God moved where? The Spirit of the Lord moved where? Now, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is what? Freedom. Do you agree with me? Jesus said in the book of John chapter 6, verse 63. John chapter 6, verse 63. The Spirit gives life. The flesh profit nothing. The word I've spoken to you, they are full of the Spirit and life. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. The Spirit of the Lord moves on the water. The Spirit of God gives life. If the Spirit of God is moving in the water, anything around your body are sent to kill you, are sent to destroy your life. Today, you receive complete life. Today, you receive the fullness of life. Praise the Lord. When the water in your body is bad, you will be sick. There will be this sickness. Even your hair will be sick. It will be cutting by itself because the water is bad. You will have skin diseases because the water is bad. Oh, you can put a lot of products in your water that you take a bath. But we are talking about spiritual things. Beautiful water, but it's a case water. It will bring a problem in your life. Now, ask Mr. Google, give me only five benefits of the water according to you. Because Google can give you information without the Holy Spirit. It's up to you now to find the Holy Spirit when it needs to fit in what you are reading there. Mr. Google said to me, water increase energy and relieve fatigue. I said, uh -huh, number one. Number two, he said, water promote loss of weight. I said, uh -huh, you drink a lot of water, you lose weight. He said, yes. I said, tell me again. He said, water flush out toxins. I said, uh -huh. for people that eat anything anywhere. So there are things that stuck in your body, water can flush them out. He said to me, water improves skin complexion. I said, okay. So this, 
Unfortunately, you can look at other people, the face they have. <laughs> face is Fanta. The feet is cock. And I wonder. One of my daughter was getting married right in this altar. And I asked my wife, this boy changed the woman. He said, no, it's the same woman. I said, eh, eh. So I have to use my hand to do this so I can see well. <laughs> the day they came in my house, I was asking, was it you or another person? He said, daddy, it was me. I said, ah. So, water can improve skin complexion. For those brothers that are very black like me, when you go in the bath, bathroom, uh, water. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And then number five, Mr. Google said to me, maintain Water maintains regularity. It digests your food and prevents constipation. I still remember going to Angola. I said to this boy, I want my belly to run. I want to make sure that uh, my belly is flashing out. Some he say, Daddy, drink a lot of water. I say, Oh, this boy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. So, that is what a medical doctor can tell you to do through Mr. Gogo. Now, when we come to the Spirit of God, because the Spirit gives life, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is what? Freedom. I don't want freedom of man because man will come back and collect his freedom. But if I receive my freedom from the Lord, it remains permanent. And I become very confident with that freedom. In the book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 9, the Spirit gives life, the flesh profits nothing. The word that I speak to you are full of the Spirit and life. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. He said, but if they do not believe this two signs or listen to you, Take some water from the Nile and pour it on the dry ground. And the water you take from the river will become blood on the ground. <laughs> okay. Where am I from? From the ground, from the dust of the ground. So if I take water, put on my body, it becomes the blood. Who's telling you those things? God. And God is not a liar. Whatever God say, believe him, you will see good things happening in your life. Amen. He said in the book of Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 25, I'm the Lord that speak. The word that I speak will come to pass. It will not be postponed. I will perform what I say. Praise the Lord. The water you take from the river will become blood on the ground. This is for somebody's freedom. Pharaoh has refused to let you go. He would not accept to any signs and wonders. Take water. The water you take from the river will become blood on the ground. My flesh is the dust of the ground. If I take water, I believe that this water will be the blood of Jesus in my body. It will do exactly what I'm thinking and what I'm saying. Raise your hand. Raise your bottle of water. Say this with me. This is not ordinary water. This is the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Silence the evil voices that speak against my body. Silence the voices of sickness and diseases. Silence the voice of the idol of my father's house. Silence the voices of the idol of my mother's house. Destroy the stubborn problem in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Put it down. Praise the Lord.
Moses did not just perform one, he did not just perform one signs through water. He always listened to what God is saying. When you get into the book of Exodus chapter 7, verse 17. This is what the Lord says. But this you will know that I'm the Lord. With the staff that is in my hand, with the rod that is in my hand, with the rod that is in my hand, I will strike the water of the Nile. I will strike the water of the Nile. And it will be changed into blood. The fish of the Nile will die, and the river will stink. The Egyptian will not be able to drink its water. When you get into verse 20, read with me verse 20. Moses and Aaron did just as the Lord has commanded. He raised his staff in the presence of Pharaoh and his official and struck the water of the Nile, and the water was changed into blood. Raise your bottle of water again. Say it again. This is not ordinary water. This is the blood of Jesus. It will purify me from all unrighteousness. Blood of Jesus, purify me from everything that contaminates body and spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Listen, the Bible says, the fish in the Nile die. The blood of Jesus will kill any sickness, any diseases that have been swimming in your body like a fish. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I've seen many people. That fish will die today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The fish in the Nile die. The river smells so bad that the Egyptian could not drink its water. Blood was everywhere in Egypt. When you go home, you will not finish this water here. When you go home, you just put a little bit in your hand and throw it in your house. Amen. Amen. There are invisible things in your house. You cannot see them with your eyes. Just throw the water. You begin to sleep peacefully. That thing that come and sit on you, they will never sit on you again. Even now they are leaving your house in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Water was turned into blood. That's why I will always think about God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. It is my responsibility to believe that this is not ordinary water. This is the blood of Jesus. I told you, amen will be louder than that one. Jesus Christ of Nazareth changed water into wine. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. If you listen to the story of Jesus Christ turning water into wine, by the way, his mother came and said, look, um, they, they have no more wine. And Jesus said, it's not a time to perform signs and wonders. Huh? I already told you, they have no wine. The mother of Jesus looked at the disciple. He said to them, listen, whatever he said to you, do it. I don't need to tell you too much about my son. I saw my son Jesus walking on the water in the swimming pool that is in my house. I saw Jesus walking on the water. He was trying his power. So whatever he said to you, do it. I had a vision. Jesus uh, had, they gave him two fish 
and five loaves of bread. You just look up the sky. When you look down, it multiplied everywhere. Everybody ate. And 5,000, that's the vision I had. Whatever he said to you, do it. Praise the Lord. The mother went to sit quietly. Uh, Jesus called the young boy that were there, come. Bring a lot of gallon, of, put water on it. They obey, they put water. While they were putting water, inside it turned into wine. Now, after filling the jar with water, Jesus gave them another instruction. Take it to the master of the banquet. The master of the banquet tested the water that had been turned into wine. He said, hmm, this is the best wine. Praise the Lord. He did not know that it was water. Praise the Lord. Lift up your bottle of water. If you cannot pray in the spirit, say whatever you want to say. For those that want to see mystery out of this water, if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, don't say any word in English, just pray in the spirit. Five minutes. Say whatever you want to say. Because this one will become the medication of that sickness and diseases that is failing you all the time. There's a sickness in your body that is challenging your faith again and again. There are problems in your body, in your physical body, that is discouraging your faith. You will pray in the Spirit five minutes, only five minutes. If you cannot pray in the Spirit, say, Father, baptize me with my heavenly language. Or say whatever word you want to say. You have five minutes to pray in the Spirit now. All your body, pray in the Spirit. If you will stand up, praise the Lord. Marakaba sekea maria kaba. Kebroso marikaba sekea marakaba sekea borokoba. Masekema rakaba. Kayabrasa marikabo soma. Marikabo soko maria kaba. Reboso ko maria ba seke marikaba sakayaba. Kebroso marikama saya maria kaba sekema. Kebroso ko maskayaba. Kebrosoma, Rikabase, Maskayaba, Rakama Sekema, Ribosoko Maria Maseke Marikaba, Kabra Sakaya Maria Bosokoma, He Kama Seke Marika Boso Maria Kaba, Maskayaba Rekaba Sekema, Ke Broso Marikama Sakaya Baria Kaba, Ke Broso Marikaba Sekea Maria Basekema, Mira Kubosokoma, Skayaba Rakaba, Kabra Sekema, Rika Mosokoma. Iya kama seke marika boso koma ke boso koyo Maria masaka ya maraka ba seke ma masake marika boso koyo maskaya baria kaba he kama sa marika boso koma ke boso Maria masake marika baba marika boso koyo maskaya Maria kaba ke boso koma seke ma he kama saka ya Maria boso koma he boso Maria masaka ya ma Rika baba ba seke ya Maria boso koyo maske ya ma. Ribo soko masaka ya Maria kaba. Hakaba seke ya Maria boso koyo Maria kaba. Ke boso ko maska ya Maria kaba baba. He kama seke ya Maria boso koyo Maria kaba. Ke boso ko Maria boso koma. Riba saka ya ma. Rika ba seke Maria baba. Ke boso ko Maria boso koma. Riba sa ma hakama seke ya ma. Ke boso koyo Maria ma saka ya Maria kaba. Ribo soko masaka ya Maria kaba hakama seke ya Maria kabo soko ma ke brasaka ya mara kama rekabo soko yo Maria kaba manseke Maria kabo soko ma ke broso Maria kaba saka ya ma hakama saka ya Maria bo soko ma ke brasa mara kaba seke ya Maria kaba ke broso Maria kama se ya Maria kaba he kama seke Maria kaba rabo soko yo Maria kaba manseke ya ba Maria kaba baba. Ke broso ma rika ma seke ma ri boso ko ma ke broso ko ma ri akaba seke ma ke brasa ma rakaba seke ya maria ba seke ma ke broso ma ri akaba ri boso ko yo ma ri akaba seke ma ri akaba akama seke ya maria boso ko yo maria akaba 
Que brosso coma se que Maria acaba, saca a Maria acaba. Que brosso Maria acaba, mas se que Maria acaba. Que brosso ma, reca massa, mas caia Maria acaba se que ma. Reca massa se que Maria acaba se coma. Que brosso coma Maria mas saca a ma. Reca massa se que Maria acaba se que Maria acaba. Que brosso coma mas saca a Maria acaba. Maria acaba se, Maria massa, Maria acaba raba. Rekama sakaya Maria ba seke ma rekabo sokoma ribo sokoma sakaya ma ke broso Maria kama seke Maria kaba baba ke broso koyo ma seke ya Maria kaba seke ma ribo so Maria kama sakaya Maria kaba ke broso koma sakaya Maria kaba seke ya Maria kaba he kama seke Maria kaba sokoma ke broso koma sakaya Maria kaba ribo sokoma Maria bo sokoma. Reba saka Maria bosso ko Maria kaba baba ke bosso ko ma seke ya Maria kaba seke ma rekaba seke ya Maria bosso ma ke bosso ko Maria kaba seke ma he kama se ya Maria kaba seke Maria kabo ke bosso Maria kama saka ma rima saka ya Maria kaba ke bosso ko ma ha kama seke ya ma ke bosso ko Maria kaba seke ma maska ya Maria kama re kabo soko ma ke bosso ko Maria kaba Hakaya ma seke Maria kaba sokoma Maria kaba baba ba he kama seke Maria kaba ke bro sokoma ri bo sokoma Maria bo sokoma ri bo sokoma masaka ya Maria kama seke ma ri bo sokoma Maria bo sokoma ri ba saka ya Maria kama seke ya ma ri bo sokoma Maria kama seke ma re kaba baba ba saka ya Maria kaba he kabo so Maria kama sa ka brasa ma ri kama skayama ke broso koma se ke ya maria kaba se ke ma he kama sa ka ya maria kaba se ke ma ri kaba ri mo so koma ska ba ri ya kama re kaba ke broso koma ri kama sa ka ma re ba sa ka ya maria bo so koma ke broso ma ri kaba se ke ma ke broso ko maria kama sa ka ya ma ha kama se ke ma thank you father thank you jesus In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Read with me from the book of Luke chapter 8 verse 25. Luke chapter 8 verse 25. Read with me if you can. Yeah. Where is your faith? He asked his disciple in fear and amazement. They ask one another, who is this? He command even the wind and the water and they obey said this me i've been crucified with Christ it is no longer i who live but Christ live in me i've been crucified with Christ it is no longer i who live but Christ live in me the wind and the water obey me this is the medication that I've been waiting for. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the medication that heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases that touch my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There will be healing on your brain. There will be healing in your blood. Amen. There will be healing in your heart. Amen. There will be healing in your bones. Amen. Not one of your bones will be broken. Amen. There will be healing in your muscle. Amen. There will be healing in your liver. Amen. There will be healing in your kidney. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Jesus command the wind and the water and they obey him. From today that water in your hand will obey you. Amen. If you say this is for my restoration, you will have what? Restoration. Please you may sit down. This only water in your hand is a medication that heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth 
Many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisha, the prophet. And no one of them was cleansed except Naaman, the Syrian. You cannot be under the rain and you don't get wet. Everyone under the rain gets wet. Unless you bring the umbrella and you say, I don't want to be wet, that's up to you. But yet, you will discover that your feet is wet with water. Many, many years ago, from the book of 2 Kings, chapter 5, verse 1, the Bible is telling us the story of Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria. He was a great and honorable man in the eyes of his master because by him the Lord has given victory to Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor, but a leper. All this good, beautiful title kill everything. Commander, a leper. Great and honorable man, a leper. Champion, but a leper. Mighty man, but a leper. He could not display skin. Nobody could see skin. It was a problem. A young captive from the land of Israel, servant of Naaman's wife, said to her, she said to her mistress, if only my master were with the prophet who is in the Samaria, for you will heal him of his leprosy. Hallelujah. <laughs> is there no balm in Syria? Is there no physician there? One then is there no healing for the wound of Naaman? When the letter was sent to the king, the king tore his clothes. Elisha said, what an embarrassing thing you are doing. You should not do that. Let the man come. You will know that there is a prophet in Israel. We need men and women of God that can challenge problems that is in the life of people. Say, bring him. You will know that there is a prophet in Israel. Tell them to come. They will come and see Jesus the healer in this altar. Amen. Praise the Lord. Naaman the prophet went with his horses and chariots, but a leper. He stood at the door of Elijah's house, and Elijah sent messenger to him, saying, Go wash in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh shall be restored to you, and you shall be clean. Ah, that one did not sit in the heart of the general. General was very angry. He said, what? Jordan? Hmm. Papha is better than Jordan. Abana is better than Jordan. Do you think there is no good water in Syria? My friend, the Spirit of God is not in your water. Abana, the Spirit of God is not there. Abafar, the Spirit of God is not there. When I speak the word of God, the Spirit of God is going to wait for you in River Jordan. You must go and dig yourself seven times. You don't want it, swallow your tongue. He was fighting because he was in the flesh. Praise God for his servant. Sometimes listen to your people. Did you hear what I'm saying? Uh, some of us don't take counsel from anybody. No. It's not a sign of weakness. <laughs> Jethro never met God. It was Moses that will speak with God face to face as a man speak with his friend. Yet Jethro could counsel Moses and Moses took the counsel. They say to him, they did. If the man of God told you something hard, you were going to do it quickly. But he just say a simple thing. Go dig yourself in the water seven times. River Jordan seven times. 
Say this with me. Jesus said, Jesus said the Spirit gives life. The, give life. the flesh profits nothing. The way that I speak to you are full of the Spirit and life. And the Spirit of God, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Are you with me? When the men of God say, go in the river Jordan, dig yourself seven times, the Spirit of God went in the river. We are waiting for no man. Amen. No other person. There were many lepers in Syria. There were many lepers in Israel. The word of God just locate one person. I thought you would say, you are talking to me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. One person. Go dig yourself in the water. <laughs> what I like from General Naaman is a wise man. Remember, he's a general of the army of Syria. He says something that many people don't understand. He said, I thought this man of God will come out and wave his hand and my sickness will disappear. <coughs> but he's telling me to go and dig himself in the water. Yet, there is what we call power by radiance. I don't need to touch you. You wave your hand, the power of God will come upon you. Amen. Amen. Moses raised his hand, the Red Sea opened. That is power by Regions. You don't see Moses going to touch uh, River Nile. River Nile, by the way, is very huge. I've been there in Egypt. We came from Israel. We should start with uh, Egypt, but we started in Israel. We finished in Egypt. River Nile is very huge. Your hand is meaningless to River Nile. But Moses raised his hand, and the Lord opened the Red Sea. Hallelujah. The Lord opened the Red Sea. They could cross. Now, put that one aside. We are talking about Naaman here. Mr. Naaman, there is a lesson you need to know. Prophet is not your friend. I still remember one king, King Josaphat. He said, believe in the Lord your God and you will be established. Believe his prophet, and you shall prosper. That was the information that was missing in the life of Naaman with his leprosy while he was still fighting. Naaman, by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. By a prophet, Israel was preserved. Obey the word of the prophet. He said, go deep yourself in the water. How many times? Seven times. Go wash in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh shall be restored to you, and you shall be clean. Prophet Amos, praise God in this house, we have Prophet Amos already. Prophet Amos chapter 3, verse 7. What is he saying? Surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals the secret to his servant, the prophet. The men of God knew that the healing of Naaman, General Naaman, is in the river Jordan. Even me, I have no power to go and touch you. I will not touch you. He just send his word. Go in the river Jordan. Go wash yourself in the river Jordan. How many times? I'm not hearing you. How many times? Yes. Mm -hmm. And this word may be the Lord is talking to you. The Spirit of God move in the river Jordan. He's waiting one person. Not two. Or just one person. Lift up your water. Say this the Spirit of God is moving in this water. The Spirit, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding. The Spirit of, the Spirit of counsel and power. The Spirit of, the Spirit of knowledge. The Spirit of and the Spirit of the fear of the Lord. I'm very happy because you are not just in the sitting room waiting for food, but you are in the kitchen with me. Hallelujah. 
We are cooking together. I'm cooking, you are learning. Ah, this is the way I can do it also. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not just water coming, put water here, take, you begin to see signs and wonders. Do you know where that water is coming from? What kind of prayer do you do? Pray over that water. That's why they criticize water. Explain to people everything in letters so that tomorrow your own faith will help you with this water. From today, you will never doubt again what water can do for you. Amen. Go and wash yourself seven times, and your flesh shall be restored to you, and you shall be clean. My Bible says in the book of first, Second King, chapter 5, verse 14, read with me, NIV. Beautiful. So, he went down and dipped seven times in the Jordan according to the saying of the man of God and his flesh was restored like the flesh of a little child and he was clean. <laughs> Can you put an IV? Do it, the reading again. Go ahead. So, he went down and deep himself in the Jordan seven times. As the man of God had told him, and his flesh was restored and became clean like that of a young boy. Today you have some soap. Today you have some lotion. They will say to you, your skin will become like a baby. It's a big lie from the pit of hell. The Spirit of God is not in that oil. The Spirit of God is in the water that you are holding right now. Yeah. If you have skin problem, you see, this woman that we see here, this is my daughter, some of them go in the mirror. They look at you, look at you, look at you. Say, <laughs> Yesterday that was beautiful. What is this again? Then they begin to chop, 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 chop. They can spend 30 minutes there. 30 minutes, I believe, is, two, is less. Maybe one hour. Uh, some of them, three hours. Uh, they put uh, the lipstick of Jezebel here. <laughs> when they come out. <laughs> Amen. Can you see what can make you beautiful? The Spirit of the Lord in the water. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is what? Freedom. It cleans your skin. It purifies you. So when I was asking Mr. Google, what can I do with water? He said, ah, it will improve your skin complexion. I said, is that all? I want the word of God. And uh, what if you have, uh, did you ever seen any medication of leprosy? They use only water. Somebody with leprosy in his body, and the leprosy will disappear. Jesus Christ can heal you. Amen. It touch you, leprosy disappear. Amen. When the word of God is in the water, that skin problem, that rash in your body, today mark the last day of that problem in your skin in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Any spell they cast on you, I see them dead by the spirit of the Lord in this water. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Any witch has spell can, they cast on you, today is the last day of the existence in your body. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeah. The leprosy, leprosy is a spiritual force. It was in the river Jordan. And the servant of the man of God, little did he know, he was a thief. His heart was on money, 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 money. <laughs> that leprosy, because of lying, it went holiday, two minutes in the water, and it jumped out in the body of Gehazi because of lying spirit. I'm praying for somebody here. You will stop lying from today in Jesus' name. Amen. 
I'm warning all of you, and I'm telling you this. By the way, the Lord will help us. If you are a thief, stop that job today. If you are a thief, you are a robber, you are in toti. Tell that job goodbye. Are you hearing me? I'm just telling you what the Lord showed me. I'm seeing a gun on your head. Uh, you still remember last time I told you these things? I said, somebody, you are a thief. Repent. After two days, we heard somebody's dead. What happened? A thief came and shot him on the head. The same thing the Lord has shown me. He said, be careful. Give your son, give your daughters warning. Tell them to stop stealing. Any thief that will come to rob you because you are not a thief, they will not succeed. Amen. If they put their footstep in your house, their feet will swell, 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 swell. Amen. Their head will go big, 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 big. Amen. But you, you must not rob anybody. Amen. Don't steal from anybody. Amen. I believe you heard me. I will even put my ears and jump a little bit. Praise the Lord. Don't steal anything from anybody. Work with your hand. If you don't have, turn it into prayer and fasting. If they ask you what's happening, I'm praying and fasting. Amen. The Lord will see you through. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, no eyes have seen. No ears has heard. No human man that's conceived. The things God is doing for me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then there is no healing for the wound of my people? Water is the balm that opens blind eyes. What makes me to tell you that stop stealing? God opened my eyes and showed me somebody, you are a thief. God opened my eyes and showed me somebody want to steal. Then the Lord said to me, stop him. So when I woke up, it was a dream. I said, oh my God, but this is not ordinary dream. And then suddenly there was a gun on the head of this fellow. Today, may the Lord show you mercy. I pray that you will live long life in Jesus' name. Amen. This holy water will open your blind eyes Amen. to see beyond the seeing. Amen. You will see your future in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Jesus saw a man blind from birth. He said, this one need water. Well, let me start with the water that is in my mouth. He spit on the ground, met some mud with the saliva, and anoint the eyes of the man that was born blind. He gave him a simple instruction, go, wash in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. This one did not discuss like General Naman. He just obey. Jesus said, wash in the pool of Siloam. The spirit of the Lord went to wait this blind man in the water. Hallelujah. When he washed his eyes, he came back seeing. And then they began to ask him, who opened your eyes? Who opened your eyes? He said, well, I don't know who opened my eyes, but uh, the man said to me, uh, go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. So, I know I was blind, but now I can see. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the Spirit of the Lord in this holy water, that problem that makes you not to see your destiny will be destroyed now. Amen. Your blind eyes open today Amen. so that you can see your future in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. There are things you must do. As long as you are a blind person, you will not see where to start, what to do. But today, you have the answer. 
Holy water in your hand will open your blind eyes in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. If there is a problem in your eyes that we call cataract, glaucoma, today they will be buried alive in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Some people brought a blind man to Jesus and begged Jesus to touch him. This is what Jesus did. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Think about you bring me a blind man and I say, okay, let's go to Mpumalanga. Not here. Your healing is not here. They are spirits that control the area, a location. You may not receive your healing here. This is Jesus. Jesus could do anything. Remember, Jesus was born full of the Holy Ghost. God anointed him with the Holy Ghost and with power. But you have to take this man out of that village. He took him outside the village. Why? And then, what is the story? When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hand on him, Jesus asked him, do you see anything? Mark chapter 8, verse 24. Mark chapter 8, verse 24. Read with me if you can. You look up and see. I see people. They look like trees walking around. <laughs> Who pray for him? Who pray for him? Answer me. Who pray for him? And what did he see? People walking around like trees. I say, ah. Jesus said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Your eyes were not meant to see people walking around like trees. What? <laughs> this is a problem. This is a very serious problem. Verse 25. Read with me. Verse 25. Out loud. Once more, Jesus put his hand on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were open. His sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. You will see everything clearly in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say this in my eyes. God made you to see clearly. Begin to see clearly. By the Spirit of the Lord. In this holy water, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You may not have only eye problem, you can also have hearing problem. This is the answer. Your feet is always painful. This is the answer. Your back is always painful. This is the answer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If water can open blind eyes, water can do anything for anyone according to your faith. Amen. I say according to your faith. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord move on the face of the water for creative miracle. Then God could say, let there be light, and there was light. I see your darkness turning into light in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Very, very important for you to understand this. In the book of John chapter 19, before I close, John chapter 19, verse 34. John chapter 19, verse 34. Read with me if you can. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. <laughs> Can you see that? They push it on the side of Jesus. Blood and water came out of the body of water. What are you expecting when the blood and the water of Jesus touch the ground? This is according to me. At that moment, my Bible says from the book of Matthew chapter 27, verse 51, Matthew 
27 verse 51, at that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from the bottom, from the top to the bottom, the earth shook, the rock split. And then what happened? Verse 52. And the tomb broke open. The body of many holy people who had died were raised to life. Hallelujah. Verse 54. Let's go to verse 54. When the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, surely he was the son of God. These are the people that were mocking Jesus. There is mystery with the water that is in your hand. Amen. This is the same water that came out of the side of Jesus. Amen. This is the blood of Jesus that came out of the side of Jesus Amen. for your healing, Amen. for your deliverance, Amen. for your prosperity, Amen. for your peace Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Water, when it came out of the side of Jesus, there was an earthquake. When it touched the ground, there was an earthquake. Now, when you drink this water, something will happen in your body. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift it up. Say, Father, thank you, Father, thank you. For, your for your mystery in the holy anointing water. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I receive my healing today. I receive my deliverance today. I receive my breakthrough now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anything that makes me unclean, I wash you away. Holy anointing all. Purify me to the glory of God. Stand up on your feet with your water. For this water to work for you, well, you must be born again. You must be what? Born again. If you say you are born again, but your cell phone is full of pornography, you are not yet born again. You must repent and be sincere. If you say you are born again, and yet your heart is full of envy, your heart is full of jealousy. Your heart is bitter toward others. Unforgiveness is in your heart. You are not born again. If you are coming here every Sunday targeting married women, targeting people so that you can ask them money, you are not born again. If you obey this word that I speak to you by the Spirit of God, you will never beg from anybody. And even not in the house of God. I don't encourage anybody to be asking people money after service. You must stop that nonsense. I did not see you. Nobody told me, but this is what I'm hearing from the Spirit of God. Stop that life. We know we can help, but not with that attitude. I want you to be very honest. Close your eyes by your head, right where you are. Lift up your hand. This is about your life changing, turning around. If Jesus could turn water into wine, if Moses could turn water into blood, your life also can change right now. It's not the will of God for you to remain jobless. It's not the will of God for you to remain unmarried. There are many things you are not doing well. And now it's appearing like a punishment. I want you to Reconcile yourself to the Lord. I want you to come back to Jesus. You will raise your right hand very high. Say, Pastor, pray for me. I want Jesus to be my Lord and my Savior. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Jesus, forgive me. Write my name in the book of life. Remove my name in the book of death. I want Jesus to be my Lord and my Savior. You will raise your hand very high. Let everybody see your hand. If they, I, I, by the way, I say, by your head, don't look around. So nobody's looking around. 
It's only you and me. Jesus is here to see your hand. And you will pray this prayer with me. You take the other hand, put it on your chest, and you will pray like this. Lord Jesus, Jesus. I come to you as a sinner. Please forgive all my sins. Come into my heart. Save my life. Write my name in the book of eternal life. As from today, I'm born into the family of God. I'm born again. Amen. You've done well to give your life to Jesus, but now we will proceed. Take it easy. Just those people, you will go with them later. I want to go through a quick workshop with you because we still have Let My People Go prayer points. Are you with me? I told you on Sunday, don't make any program. Don't look on your watch. There are things God must do for you. Only God can do it, nobody. That problem that you came with will be buried in this place. Amen. You are going as a free person Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. If you have a deck all the time, if you forget quickly, that's what we call slow learner or oh, memory failure. The answer is in this water. Amen. It is water in the eyes of man. When you put it in your hand, it becomes the blood of Jesus. Amen. You will start with your head. If your hair is cut, some of the sisters here, huh, they look beautiful. If you do this, <laughs> you, you say, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> They told me that uh, this woman was married, and then when they get home, when she remove her stuff, the husband collapsed. <laughs> so they called the mother of the husband. He said, "Come and see your son is collapsing here." He said, "He must collapse because his wife is beautiful." <laughs> so when he came, it was another story. Praise the Lord. I want to start with your head because the, your head is the symbol of your destiny. Amen. Everything you do, you must think. And many of our brain is damaged. Many of our brain has wrong water. Today, the water, you open the lid slowly. Please, I want us to be very protective with others because you saw it as water. In, on your head, it will not be water. Fire will burn there. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will put a little bit of water in the palm of your hand, and uh, you will strike it on your head, like this. That's it. Edek, go. Up there. Constant headache, go. Amen. Memory failure, go. Amen. Bad dreams, go. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All the pictures the enemy has planted in your mind. Pictures of discouragement. Pictures of defeat and failure. Pictures, all the bad pictures that control your life. Die in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Put again a little bit of water there. You yourself now, you will speak. The problem that make my head too heavy come out. They will go out. Anything on my head that make me unsuccessful come out, they will come out. Are you with me? Amen. Then you will bring your water, that water that you will put on your head, 
you will touch your eyes, command your blind eyes to open. When you do this, God in heaven, the angel of God are here to do the works. Amen. The angel of God will stir the water so that whatever diseases you have, when you enter first, you will be made healed. Now, we don't need that angel to come and stir the water because that water you have in your hand, the Spirit of God is already moving on it. Amen. You will put Strike it again on your head and prophesy to yourself. What do you want to see? What do you want to have in your life? Go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Edek, go. Constant Edek, go. Which half hour of fire on your head? Come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every affliction, arrow of affliction, fired on your head that make you not to see your future. Out! The mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Every satanic heaviness on your shoulder, in your body. Out! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Marakabo Sokoma Skyaba. Kabrasa Kabare Kabo Sokoma. On your eyes, on your neck, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your loose hair, come back in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your lost hair, begin to grow again in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Marakabo Sokoyo Maria Kaba Sekema. Maskayaba, Rakaba Sel. Kibro Soko Maskaya Maria Kaba. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Begin to cancel anything that has been an affliction in your life. On your head. On your ears. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Marakaba seke abaria bosokoma. Ke brasaka ya baraka bosokoma. Maska ya baria kabosokoma. Ribosoko yo maska ya Maria kaba. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will put a little bit of water, holy water in your hand. Then you will wash your hand. You will say this with me. By the way, say it. Any evil contamination, Any evil contamination that enter me through the palm of my hand, that make me, that make me to struggle to make money, that make the works of my hand unsuccessful, I wash you away, I wash you away. Wash them away, wash them away. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wash them away in the name of Jesus. Remove that ring of spiritual husband on your finger. Remove that ring of the marine spirit on your finger. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wash them away. Whatever enter the palm of your hand that make you unsuccessful financially in everything you are doing. Wash them away. Wash them away. Wash them away. Remove that ring of spiritual husband. Remove that ring of spiritual wife. Take them out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will put a little bit. Just a little bit. And you will strike your belly. You will strike your belly. You will command any problem, any snake, any fish that swim in the water of my belly. Die! Don't hurt yourself. Just strike a little bit. Water will enter there. Amen. 
there's a sister here, you must not be here with us. You must go in the toilet. You know your story is not good. Go there. Deal with your umbilical cord, and uh, the Lord will help you. Praise the Lord. I will count up to seven. Then you will strike your belly. Begin to pray already. Begin to pray. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yes, something in your belly. It speaks. It speaks like a human being. Kira, kira. It moves on your belly. They must die today. Six. Seven. Start your belly. Start in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. On your back, suck in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Painful menstruation. Two weeks of menstruation. Stop in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Painful menstruation. 14 days of menstruation. You have come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Seven days of menstruation. Stop in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, the witch of bleeding. Stop in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go ahead. Even on your back. Stop on your back. It's still the same thing. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Recover your back. Oh, the witch of fish that swim in your belly. The snake that make noise on your belly. Die in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be healed. Be free. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You will put again a little bit of water in your hand. You will go on your feet. Uh, I did not say remove your shoe. If you want, you can. But now, your feet. Those problems on your knee must go away in Jesus' name. Those problems in your ankles must go away in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You put water on both of your hands, then begin to touch, begin to tap your feet in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. (laughs) Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tap your feet everywhere. Tap your feet in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, for complete healing. On your back, that back pain must go away completely in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. On your feet, those pain on your feet disappear in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Ha! Ah, Somebody see me healing there. Somebody's getting healed now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have pray. Beautiful. Ah. You will take a little bit again, and you will wash your face. When they come and decorate your face, they decorate your belly, it's not good. The Spirit of the Lord is moving in this water. You will wash your face. Anything that makes you ugly. Now I see beauty in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When they look at you, they just dislike you. You don't know why. I'm sorry, those who made makeup, you are here. <laughs> I will see your face now very, very well. See, your makeup is going to zero now. Are you ready? 
Say this to me. The Spirit of God is moving in this water. The of God is in this For, my For my beauty. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Go ahead. Wash your face. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. You will come back with a good story. You will come back with a good story. Wash your face. Remove that makeup. Jezebel makeup. Take it out. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wash your face. Wash your face. Take it easy. I will see you later with your face. Your original face. <laughs> Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When Moses and Aaron cast their rods, it swallowed the snake of the magicians. The same thing with this water. When it enters your body, it will go and swallow that stubborn problem. Amen. When you go in the toilet, you will wish that sugar diabetes. Amen. That problem that is in your body that move around, when you go in the toilet, you will flush them out. Amen. When you drink this water, the spirit of the Lord will come upon you in double measure. Amen. And there will be a complete change. Say this to me, this is holy water. The Spirit of the Lord is moving in this water to kill all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases that is in my body. This is the balm for my healing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Just drink a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Somebody say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you Jesus. Thank you. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Put your bottle of water, close it, put it on the side. There is work you will go and do in the house. Okay. You will close your eyes and you raise your hand because there is something that will happen now for your advantage, for your benefits. The devil has been put to shame in your life. Amen. Where others are struggling, you will never struggle again. Amen. You've been seeing people moving from uh, nobody to somebody, and that fellow will be you from now onwards. Father, I thank you for the idol that torments my people has been destroyed now. Amen. The curses that challenge my people is broken forever in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Father, this hand that is raised unto you, raise up men and women that will come and lift them up Anywhere they will go, show them great favor in Jesus' name. Amen. The business that is not productive, from today, make it productive in Jesus' name. Amen. Marine spirit, I bind you, I cast you out. Amen. Ancestral spirit, I bind you, I cast you out. Amen. Familiar spirit, I bind you, I cast you out. Amen. Snake, I burn you, I kill you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Father, I ask you. Spirit of alcohol. Spirit of alcohol. Leave my daughter. Leave my son. Go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Drunkard spirits in the family where you are coming from. Nobody will have a desire to drink and get drunk again in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. The stubborn cases in the family where you are coming from. The stubborn cases that makes everyone to struggle in your family. Because you are here, in your life is broken. 
is broken. Is broken. Break in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Most High God, I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you adoration. Glory be to your holy name. You are free in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us listen to the announcement, and uh, I will tell you, I will give you homework today. Praise the Lord. Beautiful. Shalom, family. Thank you for joining us today. Stay connected to CFC Push by following us on your favorite social media platforms. Like our Facebook page at CFC Push Ministries. Follow us on Twitter at PushMeanTV. Follow us on Instagram at PushMean.TV. Follow us on TikTok at PushMean.TV. And subscribe to our YouTube channel at CFC Push. Remain blessed.